A stark supporter of Donald Trump was diagnosed with a life-threatening disease. The doctors informed him that he had just a few days to live. His dying wish was to speak to Donald Trump. What Donald Trump said next made the man tear up. Jay Barrett lay in the hospital bed, his body racked with pain. Every breath was a struggle, every moment of fight for life. He'd just been taken off oxygen, and the harsh reality hit him like a ton of bricks. He thrashed about, his chest burning with a fire that seemed to consume him. As he stared at the ceiling, tears streamed down his face. This wasn't the life he'd planned. He was supposed to be happy, successful, and surrounded by loved ones. Instead, he was broken, dying, and he felt alone. His sister, Bridget, held his hand. She prayed for a miracle, for a chance to turn back time and make things right. But the doctor's words echoed in her mind. He only has a few weeks left. Bridget squeezed his hand and whispered, You won't die, Jay. You won't leave me. But they both knew the truth. Time was running out, and hope was slipping away. The phone by Jay's bedside suddenly rang. Bridget rushed to answer it, her heart racing with anticipation. As she looked at the screen, her eyes widened in shock. She couldn't believe it. It was Donald Trump. Bridget hurried to Jay's side, holding the phone out for him to see. Donald Trump is calling, she squealed. Jay's eyes, weak from his illness, lit up with a glimmer of hope. As Bridget held the phone, tears streamed down her face. She knew how much this moment meant to her brother. Jay's eyes, once bright and full of life, now dimmed by illness, sparkled with a sense of pride and accomplishment. The president was calling him. Jay, a kind-hearted man, had a heart of gold. He had a remarkable ability to put others before himself, always willing to lend a helping hand. Jay went out of his way to help others, whether it was a stranger on the street or a friend in need. Despite facing his own struggles, Jay never wavered in his commitment to helping others. Jay and Bridget didn't have a rosy childhood, but with determination, hard work, and perseverance, they worked their way to the top. Jay eventually graduated as a top engineer from college and landed a job at a prestigious firm. He used his skills to design innovative solutions for communities in need. His sister also rose to greatness, becoming a democratic lawmaker who championed the rights of marginalized communities. She remained humble and grounded, never forgetting the struggles they'd faced and the kindness that had changed their lives. As Jay grew older, he took an interest in politics, driven by a desire to advocate for policies that would benefit the marginalized and vulnerable. He became a respected voice in his community, known for his integrity and compassion. Jay was in his early 40s when the 2017 presidential campaign began, with Donald Trump as the Republican Party's candidate. Jay, who had a social media page and immediately fell in love with Trump's campaign after its launch, used it to campaign for him. Up until now, he'd been an independent voter and even helped Barack Obama win the election in 2008. But Trump eventually won Jay over. His motivations weren't driven by a desire for political appointment, but rather his belief in Trump's vision for America's future. After Trump's electoral victory, Jay attended a dinner event to celebrate the victory. There, he met a young woman named Naomi. She was a beautiful lady who caught Jay's eye, and he fell in love with her. They exchanged contacts that evening, and Jay asked her out on a date. Over dinner, he couldn't help but express his feelings for her, and Naomi accepted. Jay was smitten and couldn't deny his deepening love for her. One evening, after a charity event, he proposed to her on bended knee. Naomi was overjoyed and accepted. Jay then planned to introduce Naomi to his sister, Bridget, who lived and worked in another city. Two days later, they arrived at Bridget's apartment. Bridget was excited to see her brother, whom she hadn't seen in months. However, when Jay introduced Naomi, Bridget gasped in shock, though she quickly composed herself and smiled. Jay sensed something was amiss, knowing Bridget's reactions too well. He suspected there was a story behind her response. After lunch, Bridget discreetly called Jay into the kitchen and shared some shocking news about Naomi. Naomi's past was marred by a messy divorce, one that left a trail of hurt and betrayal. She'd cheated on her ex-husband and he'd divorced her. What hurt most was the impact it had on her ex-husband's life. Naomi's ex-husband was Bridget's boss, and she'd witnessed firsthand the devastating effects of Naomi's actions. 
His business suffered, and he struggled to make ends meet. Bridget couldn't bear the thought of Jay, her beloved brother, getting entangled in Naomi's web of deceit. Jay, however, was smitten. He refused to believe Bridget's warnings, thinking she was just being overprotective. But Bridget knew the truth. She'd seen the pain Naomi had caused, and she couldn't stand idly by while her brother walked into the same trap. But Jay's heart was closed and he refused to listen. When he returned to the living room, Jay took a deep breath and asked Naomi about her previous marriage. She was taken aback by his question, and tears began streaming down her face. Naomi's voice trembled as she shared her painful past with Jay. She'd been trapped in a toxic marriage. Her husband's infidelity had left her shattered, and his sudden desire to end the marriage had crushed her. The memory of him serving her divorce papers still haunted her. Jay's eyes widened in shock and hurt as he listened to Naomi's story. He couldn't believe how Bridget's boss had misinterpreted the truth and portrayed himself as the victim. Despite the fact that she'd kept all of this from him, Jay's love for Naomi only grew stronger. He was determined to build a future with her, one free from the shadows of her past. Six months after the wedding, Jay discovered a shocking side to Naomi. She suddenly transformed into a party animal and would keep late nights. This behavior was a far cry from the person he thought he knew during their courtship. Several times he confronted her about it, but it only ended up spiraling into a nasty argument. One evening, Jay got enraged and screamed at Naomi that he regretted marrying her. His outburst was triggered when he returned from a trip to find their home reeking of alcohol and smoke. Jay couldn't believe his once peaceful home had turned into a party zone. Naomi's attitude had gradually worn Jay down, transforming him into a shadow of his former self. He constantly complained, worried, and shouted. The tension between them had been building for months, and one evening, it reached a boiling point. In the midst of an intense argument, Jay's frustration and stress became too much to bear. He suddenly slumped to the floor and lay unconscious for a few terrifying minutes. Despite this, Naomi's behavior remained the same. Weeks later, Jay was set to travel for a charity event in another city. He informed Naomi and promised to return after a week. Jay drove to the airport, only to receive a phone call from the organizers. The event had been postponed indefinitely due to unforeseen circumstances. Jay had to turn back and drive home. When he arrived home, he headed to the bedroom. As he opened the door, he froze in shock. His wife was in bed with another man. He felt his legs give way and he slumped to the ground. Tears streamed down his face as he struggled to comprehend the betrayal. He thought of all the memories they'd made together, the laughter, the adventures, and the quiet moments. It all seemed like a lie now. As he managed to lift himself up, Jay saw Naomi staring at him with shock written all over her. She hadn't expected him to return so soon. In a trembling voice, Jay screamed that he was done with the marriage. Naomi packed a few of her belongings and left with her lover. The next day, she returned with divorce papers, demanding half of the properties and threatening to escalate the situation and tarnish his reputation if he didn't comply. To protect his reputation and peace of mind, he signed the documents and watched as she walked away with a smile. Jay regretted not listening to his sister's warning. The pain consumed him, leaving him without appetite or hope. He sought solace in alcohol, drowning his sorrows before passing out. But the nightmare only intensified the following week. Jay woke up one morning to find out that his entire account balance had vanished. Jay's heart raced as he frantically rushed to the bank. The investigation only added to his despair, as the bank couldn't trace the money. Jay knew the truth. Naomi had access to his bank information, and she was definitely the mastermind behind the theft. Jay lost everything – his marriage, his trust, and now his finances. The thought of Naomi's betrayal was suffocating, leaving him breathless and helpless. Jay was severely depressed for weeks, but one morning it became too much to bear. With his last ounce of strength, he reached for his phone and called his sister. Bridget was frantic with worry when she received the call. She dropped everything she was doing and headed to her brother's house. When she arrived, she was met with a sight that made her blood run cold. Jay lay motionless on the floor, his body limp and lifeless. Bridget's screams echoed through the room as she called 911. 
The ambulance arrived, and Jay was rushed to the hospital. Bridget was beside her brother, praying fervently for his survival. She felt guilty for not doing more to prevent his marriage to Naomi. Now her brother's life was on the line, and Bridget couldn't shake the feeling that she'd failed him. Thirty minutes later, the doctor emerged from the ICU and asked to speak with Bridget. She delivered the shocking news. Jay had been diagnosed with adult-onset cystic fibrosis. The condition had progressed significantly before diagnosis, and Jay had little to no chance of survival. Bridget was devastated, and her legs nearly gave out from under her. The doctor caught her and helped her to a chair, offering words of comfort and assurance that they would do everything possible to ensure Jay's survival. Jay's condition deteriorated rapidly. Bridget was by his side constantly, praying for his recovery. Jay felt his life slipping away and knew he would soon die. Bridget took action, posting updates on Jay's page to raise awareness about his illness. She tagged several politicians, hoping to garner support. It was during this period that Jay made his dying wish. He wanted to speak with Donald Trump. Bridget knew how much her beloved brother idolized Donald Trump, how he'd tirelessly campaigned for him, and how much joy it would bring him to meet his hero. So she decided to do everything in her power to make his dream come true. Being a Democratic City Council member in West Haven, Connecticut, Bridget had a city blog. There, she asked people to email the White House and send a request to the president, asking him to contact her brother. With tears streaming down her face, Bridget also poured her heart out on social media pages. She tagged the U.S. government and begged for someone, anyone, to make her brother's final wish come true. She couldn't bear the thought of Jay leaving this world without realizing his dream. As she typed, Bridget's mind flooded with memories of her brother's unwavering dedication to Trump's campaign. She remembered his bright smile, his infectious enthusiasm, and his unshakable optimism. As Jay lay bedridden, his body weak and his voice faint, Bridget's only hope was that a meeting with Trump would revive his spirit and give him the strength to keep fighting. With each passing moment, Bridget's longing grew more intense. She couldn't lose her brother, not yet. She needed a miracle, and she needed it fast. As she had posed, Bridget closed her eyes and prayed with every fiber of her being that somehow, some way, Donald Trump would hear her brother's plea and grant him the chance to meet his hero, if only for a moment. Bridget's post went viral and caught the attention of the White House. Lynn Patton, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development Regional Chief, contacted Jay on Instagram after reading about his wish on his sister's website. Shortly after she saw the post, she called Jay and said, I have someone on the phone who wants to speak to you. Jay's curiosity was piqued as he took the call. Hello, he said. Hi, Jay, my name's Eric. A friendly voice replied. Jay didn't recognize the voice, but he sensed a kindness and warmth that put him at ease. I'm so glad I get to talk to you, Jay, Eric continued. Jay was puzzled, wondering who this Eric was and how he knew him. Then Eric dropped the bombshell. My dad is President Donald Trump, and I wanted to personally call and offer our support. Jay's jaw dropped as he realized he was talking to the president's son. Eric told Jay that he'd shared his story with his siblings, and they were all praying for him. He urged Jay to keep fighting and never give up. At the end of the call, Jay was beaming from ear to ear, but it was what happened next that reduced him to tears. Donald Trump saw the tag and viewed the page, where he was deeply moved by the contents. He was particularly touched by the campaign pictures and Jay's written post. Trump was so moved that he instructed his aide to contact Bridget. He wanted to call Jay personally at 5 p.m. the next day. When Bridget received the message from Trump's personal assistant, she was shocked. She wanted to share the news with her brother, but she didn't want to raise his hopes only to disappoint him, so she waited patiently until the next day. As 5 p.m. approached, Jay was on the verge of giving up hope, but Bridget reassured him that everything would be okay. Then, at exactly 5 p.m., Bridget's phone beeped. She rushed to answer it and was thrilled to see the president's verified number on the screen. She squealed with excitement, hardly able to believe that the president himself was calling. The president is calling, Bridget screamed, her voice trembling with excitement. It sounded like a dream to Jay as he stared at the screen in disbelief. Bridget swiped the green icon and put the phone on speaker. Am I speaking with Mr. Jay? The president asked. 
His voice was warm and familiar. Jay shook with pure emotion as he heard Donald Trump's voice. He managed to stammer out a few words, still in awe. The president thanked him for his dedication and admired his passion for humanity. You're one of the few good people in this world, Jay, he said. Jay shared his fears and his current struggles, and Trump reassured him. Don't worry, Jay. We'll get through this together. You've done an amazing job, Jay. You're a champ. Keep fighting. Jay was moved to tears as he listened to the president's words. Jay and the president shared some lighthearted moments, exchanging jokes, and Trump invited him to visit the White House. The call came to an end, leaving Jay feeling uplifted. Bridget was overjoyed that her brother's wish had been granted and prayed that this newfound hope would give him the strength to keep fighting. Just a few weeks after this call, Jay's frail body finally gave in to the pain. But instead of fear, he felt peace, knowing that his last wish had come true, that he had the support of his hero, and that his loving sister had done all that she could to make that a reality. As he lay quietly in his room, Jay looked at his sister, Bridget. Though he was weak, his eyes were calm. He reached out and held her hand, feeling the comfort of her touch. He tried to speak, but the words didn't come. Still, the love between them didn't need words. With one last gentle breath, Jay closed his eyes. Even though her heart was broken, Bridget also felt an odd sense of peace. She knew Jay was no longer in pain. Amidst the overwhelming sorrow, she found a spark of determination. She remembered how her brother's final wish had come true when he was least expecting it, a reminder that kindness and compassion could still be found in unexpected places. This ignited a fire within her, fueling her desire to make a difference. With renewed purpose, Bridget vowed to dedicate her life to spreading joy and hope to those facing adversity, just as the president had done for her family. And so, Bridget's journey began, a journey of healing, hope, and kindness, inspiring countless others along the way. With a sense of resolve, she moved forward, knowing her brother's memory would live on through her. Democrat or Republican, all it takes is a beating heart. What do you think about Jay's dying wish? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.